Hi, Micro Punter here. Some people all call me Oliver, and I'm very happy and very proud that I can announce today the start of a new project. I call it microworldarchive.org, and I hope that in a few years it will be the largest image collection of photomicrographs. These are pictures taken with a microscope. So of the microscopic world, I want to create the largest image and video collection that there is. And not only that, it should be more than just a simple gallery. I want that all of those images are available under the Creative Commons license. So this means anyone who would like to use the images for a project, a YouTube video, a website, a book maybe, are allowed to do so provided that they give reference uh, to the creator of the image. So there, it's already an advanced permission to use the images. Now why am I doing this? Over the last couple of years I have already received several times a request uh, from publishing companies, um, other YouTube creators and a variety of people who wanted to use my images for a website, for a YouTube video, for a book, for a few books even. And I've always said yes, no problem, just use the images. I'm happy that the pictures are of any use and that other people can also benefit from this. And so I decided to make this website uh, to simply give away the pictures for free. But then I realized, well, actually the project can be a little bit, mu can be much more than just a simple gallery, okay? I mean, it can be much more. And I decided now to grow this uh, with your help, with your help into the biggest image database of micrographs uh, that there is. And all of the images should ultimately also be available under the Creative Commons license. So this way I want to engage the public um, as well uh, and make them also interested um, in uh, microscopy and and of course also give them a possibility to use these images. Now this is a big project. It's a very big project. It will take a lot of time for me to take all of those pictures um, and uh, for this reason I would like to ask for your help. Not only by agreeing to all the published images that you might have sitting on your hard drive and that you might otherwise not use. Maybe you can also donate some of those images uh, to the database. Um, all of the information is on the website on how to do that. And I have a second request and this is, I know it's a little bit awkward to do that and I don't feel quite more comfortable, but it is a, uh, the request for financial support. And uh, it's not about the running of the website itself, uh, but I want to make sure that this image database that the quality of the images is really very high and therefore I will be spending a lot of time in the next couple of years taking pictures and I decided well if I'm already spending so much time um, taking pictures then the picture should be extra good and there is a certain kind of microscope that allows to do that but the problem is is that those microscopes are only available yeah up to now in the research area at universities and they are very expensive and for the reason why we do not see a lot of these pictures of those microscopes online is, is because those research organizations, of course, their, their main interest is in research and not so much uh, in uh, publishing images. And for this reason, I thought, well, if I could also have access to such a microscope, then I could also put those pictures online um, of a very high quality. And for this reason, I would like to also ask for your financial contribution um, to buy such a microscope, which is way beyond that what I as an individual can afford. Um, and I would like to return to the general public the thanks in the, in the sense that I'm going to make the pictures that I take under this microscope also available um, for use by the general public under the Creative Commons license on this website. The website itself not only contains uh, pictures, uh, but uh, I've also put on there uh, several videos um, and also um, the Microbe Hunter magazine, which I published between the years 2011 and 2017. And a total of 55 issues. A big thank you to all of those authors and microscopists who contributed at that time. And if you also still want to publish articles, then what you can do is, is you can also send me a PDF and I will also publish it online and in this new archive that I created. I hope that I was able to generate a little bit of enthusiasm. Um, I also hope uh, that uh, you're able to share uh, this enthusiasm with me and also with the general public 
week and I know it's awkward but a financial contribution would really make a lot of a difference um, because uh, then really the images that could be published would go very much beyond that what is currently available um, online and those images will also be free. Thank you very much. Happy micro hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.